What you see here in front of you is my wheel for my Kent Ridgeland bike. This is a 700C type wheel and right now it's fitted with some Michelin road tires, perfectly smooth tires, 25 millimeters wide. Now I'm actually wanting to turn that bike into a gravel a fixed gear bike in the future. That video will be coming, but I also don't want to spend a lot of money on tires. Looking at the gravel specific tires, 45 millimeters wide, 38, whatever, they're very expensive, $45, sometimes even more. So I happened to be at Walmart yesterday and I happened to see this. Now this does clearly say mountain bike tire, 29 inch, but from a little research, I learned that 29 inch tire is going to fit a 700 C wheel. They're both 622 millimeters for the actual rim diameter, as I understand. So this should mount onto this wheel, no problem. However, the thing is, is this wheel is only 20.8 millimeters wide on the inside dimension. Whereas this width for this tire is 2.1 inches. I've read varying things on whether you can fit such a wide tire on such a rim. Some places say you should do only 1.6 to two times the width of the inside of the rim to the width of the tire. Other places such as this chart do say that this rim being about 21 millimeters inside should fit this tire, no problem. So. I figured this would be a great opportunity to try. We can all learn, will a wide mountain bike tire, 29er mountain bike tire, fit on a kind of a road rim? You know, let's see, and, and this is very cheap. This is $20. So this is about half the price as I was seeing most of the gravel specific tires go for. Now this is very wide. 2.1 inches wide is about 53.3 millimeters wide. So this is a very wide tire, but at only $20, I don't know, let's give it a try. And I figured, heck, this is at Walmart. If I take it out of the box nicely and I put it back in the box nicely, if it doesn't fit, I should be able to return it anyway. So let's go ahead and take off this old road tire, see if we can mount this mountain bike tire and see how it works. So it looks like we have 1.148 grams without the box. All right, let's see if we can get this on the wheel. It seems so big, it, it seems too big, just kind of like, my first impression, this thing seems really, I don't see how in the world this is gonna go on. All right, so it'll be kind of like that. All right, I'm gonna fast forward this for you or cut this out because it's probably really boring to watch. We struggle to get this on the rim, but hey, looks like it might be going, kind of. Let me go ahead and pause it and, and wrestle with this a little bit, come back and let you know how it goes. Okay, I finally got the tire on the wheel. It took an embarrassingly long amount of time to get it on there. My thumb hurts, my forearm hurts a little bit. I don't know, it, that was really hard to get on. But what ultimately allowed me to have success and get it on was actually using tape to hold parts of it on while I was working on the other side. Okay, it's looking like this might actually fit on this bike, at least on the front. There's not a ton of clearance, but <laughs> there is clearance. All right, it's not a ton of clearance, but there is clearance. I think it might be okay. We'll see. We'll know when I pump it up if there's really going to be enough room or not. Okay, and we're back. I swapped in a different tube. The widest one I had, which said it was only good for 38 millimeters, so we're still way bigger than that, but we'll see what happens. All right, that looks pretty good about 30 PSI, but I'll show you what I'm kind of worried about. Let's get this back up on the rack. I mean, maybe it's okay. You guys let me know what you think. But look at that. It's not a lot of clearance at all, is it? As a point of reference, I can't even get my finger under there, even my small finger. So that's just less than 10 millimeters for sure. I think that's not, not too good. Now, of course, immediately what I think is, oh, well, I can just grind that out, but yeah, I don't know how safe that is either. You could grind it out up to halfway up to the bottom of that hole. Yeah, my fear is obviously that dirt and rocks and whatnot will just get jammed up in there, especially rocks. In terms of the tire fitting on the wheel though, it actually don't look as bad as I thought it might. 
I mean, yeah, it's bulging out. It is. But it doesn't look that bad. I think that might be okay. Okay, and you're probably wondering how the back would fit, so I went ahead and went to the store and got a back tire too. And it does fit about as well as the front one fits, which is to say pretty uncomfortably snug. But I just took the bike for a ride, nothing rubbed or anything. Obviously what I'd be worried about is any kind of stone or something like that. As you can see, it's darn close. Yeah, can't quite fit my finger in there even. Up here it's fine. Plenty of space up here. I mean, it's not a ton, but I think it's okay up here. The problem is more down here. Kind of looks cool though, overall. But anyway, that's about it for this video. Thanks everybody for watching. See you next time.